let's do this. Hey guys, my name's Selena Gill, and I am a survivor of the Beast, aka Theater 211. Basically, what Theater 211 is, is a performance analysis class, but you mostly focus on the topic of dramaturgy. What is dramaturgy, you might be asking yourself? Well, let me fill you in. According to Carrie Cook's research project guidelines, a dramaturg serves two primary roles. The first role being that the dramaturg works closely with the director, but may also serve a role as a resource for the actors, technicians, designers, etc. This meaning that they share their information and or research on the production's historical, cultural, and um, political content. They also prepare the script for the performance, meaning that they might edit and revise the script, or translate a script, or even adapt it to the correct um, time period. The second primary role that a dramaturg plays is that they might read and assess new works, or uh, contact um, artistic directors and tell them how their work is coming. Now that we understand what a dramaturg does, we can finally tackle this giant beast of a research project that you are giving during 2.11. Basically, the guidelines of this project, aka the Beast, are um, you have to choose a play and then step into a dramaturg's shoes, do all of this research on the play. Another part of this project is that you can make your own theater company and you can adapt the show in your own way. So you can like change the time period, you just have to do all the research on it. <laughs> then you have to build a biography based on the playwright that wrote the show that you chose, and you have to look at the historical context of the production, the scholarly and critical thoughts. Um, production history, visual resources, and then not only were you stepping into dramaturg shoes, but you got to step into another role as well, of your choice. Then, with all of this information that you've gathered, you got to- wait, here's the best part. Wait for it. Create your own website for this production that you have done all this research on. It's your own dramaturgy website. It's pretty neat. Stressful, but neat. It sounds like a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It is the beast. There is a reason we call it the beast. We don't just call it the beast for fun. I am almost positive that I had nearly 40 sources for this project just by researching The Seagull by Anton Chekhov. Seriously, I don't recommend getting all of your sources at the same time because that is a lot to carry back home. Don't do it. Anyway, during this process, you'll have to learn how to use the JMU Library Research Database. But I don't know how to use the JMU Library Research Database, oh. That is totally fine. You don't have to figure it out on your own. There is somebody who can help you. See this dude right here? He knows just about everything about the Library Research Database, and he will help you willingly. Honestly, you're in pretty good hands for this project. You have uh, the support of your professor and all of your classmates who are also struggling with the beast. Uh, you got Brian Floda, who's going to help you learn how to maneuver the research database. Honestly, I just recommend you get a lot of sleep, you drink a lot of coffee, you have enough Kleenex in your room for whenever you break down because it's almost time to turn the project in. I found that I had left myself enough time to conquer the beast, however, there were a lot of distractions that got in my way, but... Overall, I thought I did a pretty good job of staying on task and getting what I needed to be done. The only problem was that there were so many annotations that was just- it was driving me crazy. I kept doubting myself that my annotations weren't good enough, which actually took a lot more time than I thought it would, so then the day that it was due, I still had some annotations that were due, and it was not a good time because it, I had quite a bit of annotations that I still have to do, so that was pretty stressful, so don't do that, kids. However, I am really proud that I took enough time um, to do the research that I needed to do so I could find out everything that I needed to know about the sequel. Which, by the way, The Seagull is a show by Anton Chekhov that um, explains the struggles for new forms, the frustrations, and the fulfillment um, of putting words on a page. Basically, it's this whole, like, love mess and, like, this whole, like, struggle to grasp onto something that is gonna be successful. Really, what Anton was trying to get across with The Seagull was this theme of love in theater and literature. So, that's basically all you really need to know about The Beast. Um, I wish you luck. Have fun. Don't take this journey for granted. And uh, that's really all for me. Don't procrastinate. Conquer the beast.